Okay, so the horn was traveling for no distance L tip the diver. Uh, we know that 1.2 meters of the distance is through the air and the rest is through water. So if we compute uh, the time T1 for the time to travel through air, we know that T1 is equal to the distance it travels. We call that L1, capitalize that, divided by V air. And we know that is equal to 22 meters from the problem, and the air is equal to 344 meters per second. Um, now, the time that the sound spends traveling through water, it's called T2, is going to be equal to T1 minus L2 over the V air. If uh, that makes sense. It's the time it takes to go through the air subtracted by uh, L2 over V air. And then we can plug in uh, L1 over V air for uh, T1. And we get that T2 is equal to L1 minus L2 over V air where L2 is the 1.2 meters. And um, from there, we know that the speed of sound and water is 1,480 meters per second. So from the horn to the diver, the distance L, uh, we call it L3, is equal to L2 plus the speed of sound in the water. T and then we can plug in the formula that we just got for T2. And if you plug all of that in, you get You get about 90.7 meters per second. So, or sorry, you get 9.7 meters. So the distance from one to the diver, three is 90.7 meters.